in the mighty name of Jesus, we come at your feet at this moment. We pray, Jehovah Father, that dear Lord, because you have set a table before us, that King of the glory, that you are going to feed us according to the capacity of our hearts. We pray, our Lord and our Redeemer, that the Holy Spirit of the living God will take over and take charge so that mighty God, that as we hear your word, King of the glory, it will help us to glow spiritually in the mighty name of Jesus. I commit my life to you, Lord, as I speak your word to your people, Lord, that you may anoint me with fresh anointing, so that, dear Lord, these people, as they are blessed, that I will also be blessed. We pray, Jehovah Father, King of the glory, that each and every one of us who is in this sanctuary this day, King of the glory, that we are going to come out of it being blessed of you. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I do pray, believe, and trust. Amen. May you have your seats. Praise God, church. Praise God again. My name is Salah Jerry Wakaja. This morning I'm saved. I love Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. And it's my desire that I'll walk with God all the days of my life. Today, we are going to hear the word of God as God has prepared my heart to share the word with you. And uh, it is my prayer that all of us will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Our theme for this year, it is coming from the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, from verse 17. And the Bible says that we be looted in divine settlement so that Christ may dwell in our hearts, that we may be looted in divine settlement so that Christ may dwell in our hearts. Without faith, we cannot, or Christ cannot dwell in our hearts. Um, as we know, all of us, we know a tree, and a tree can be called a tree without the leaves, isn't it? A tree can be a, called a tree without the leaves. A tree can be called a tree without the branches. But you can't call a tree without the roots. Buenas Fiesana. The same way applies to us. Without Christ, Buenas Ifibe, without Christ in us, we are dead. Not the spiritual dead, without the physical dead, but the spiritual death. If you don't have Christ in you, because he is the loot, Christ is the loot. And that's why we are called that, we are told that in that Ephesians, that we be looted so that Christ may dwell in us. A tree cannot stand without the roots. So, Christians, let us have Christ in us so that we may be looted well. The Bible says in the book of um, John chapter 15, that it is, Jesus was saying that, I am the vine, you are the branches. And no branch can bear fruit without being connected with me. So the Christ is the vine, and we are the branches. We Christians, we cannot bear fruit when we are disconnected with the vine. So I urge you this morning that we may be connected with Christ so that we may bear fruit. The Bible continues to say that, you cannot, be, you bear more fruit. When you are connected with Christ, you will be able to bear more fruit. The theme of this, this month, it comes from the book of uh, Psalms, Psalms 133. It says that how pleasant and good it is for people to live together. When people live in unity, God commands his blessings. And the Bible is adding us to remain connected. We as the Dendero, SK St. Andrews Dendero, let us be united. And when we live as a family of Dendero being united, automatically God is going to, to bless us. He is going to, to command his blessings to flow in our lives. 
My theme for today is building our lives or our families on the light foundation. Building our families on the light foundation. All of us here, we are builders. You are building your life. You are building your family. You are building your children. You are building your career. You are building your business. All of us here, we are at a place of building. And we, when we are building, like for example, when you are building a house, you just not wake up one morning and say that I'm going to build. You have to have a, a, a plan of what you are going to build. You have to know what cost. Are you ready to bear the cost of building? Are you ready to build until completion? This is the same way that you are doing. If you are starting your business, are you ready to go ups and downs? Are you ready to build your, your business from zero to somewhere? Are you ready to pay the cost? Are you ready to go to work in the morning and stay the whole day without customers coming? Will you be able to go tomorrow? Building has so many challenges. When you are building our families, when you are, you, are, you are getting in marriage, are you ready to bear the cost? Are you ready to go difficulties? Bonus Fesana. We all know that marriage is not the bed of roses. There are a lot of thorns. There are a lot of challenges. Are you ready to bear the pain in the marriage? Are you ready to bear the pain when you are rearing your children? Most, most of us here, at this time, the, the teenage, we are on the teenage now. Our children are the teenage age. And they are facing a lot of challenges. They know more than we know. How are you building that boy? How are you building that girl? Are you there to encourage them? The Bible says, teach your children the way. And even the, when they will grow up, they will never divert from that way. Uh, I'll look at uh, Luke chapter 6. The Bible shows us it is a parable. A man who was wise and a man who was foolish. And the Bible says there were two men and they were building. The wise man went and built his house on a lucky ground. The foolish man went and built his house on a swelly ground. And the Bible says that the storm came. And when that storm came to the man, to the house of that man who built his uh, his house on a lock place, the house was left intact. But when the storm came to the house of that man who was foolish, who had built his house on the soil, the Bible says that it was swept away. And the Bible continues to say it fell with a loud bang. The same way the Bible is teaching us. Let us build our faith in Christ. Because so many storms will come on our way. And when you build your life on Christ, when the storms come, you will remain standing. When the storms of these lives come to, to, to your family, your family will remain strong. The Bible urges to build our houses, all our hearts on the lucky ground. 
And on the rocky ground is Jesus Christ. When we build our lives on Jesus, no weapon formed against us will prosper. Buenas Fesana. Sometimes, some foundation speaks in our lives. And maybe those foundations were set in our background. And at times comes and you are struggling in life and you are struggling in life. And you don't know what is happening. I'm doing what I'm asked to do. I have everything that I, I must have. But my life is intact. I'm just struggling. I'm just moving on the same place. But there are some foundation we are, which are speaking from the background. And the Bible says in the book of Kings, Second Kings, chapter 2 from verse 19, that some men went to Elisha and told him, our land is well situated. And our land is very productive, but our water is burned. That place was good. The soil was good, but there was no plant or there was no productive productivity in that land because their water was burned. When their animals drink that water, they were miscarrying. Elisha told them, Go and get a ball. Go and get a shot and come with it. The Bible says that Erisha took that ball with salt and steered with water and he went from the source of that liver and he put that salt on it. And that water was healed. Our problems is not the husbands that we have. Our problems are not in our children. Our problems, maybe they are coming from the source. We have to go back to the roots. We have to go back to our families. And such, why is this foundation not strong? Because the, the foundation, maybe it got some hitches from the ground. When this house was being built, the foundation, it was, the, the, it, the, the cost of the foundation of this house, I know it costed a lot. Because the foundations matters a lot. The foundation that, that, that started our families, it what matters a lot. How do you, have you started your foundation? Are you that person? When you come to church and you are not given a, an opportunity, you learn away. Are you that person who is not well looted? Mrs. Yako Ikoaji. How do you take yourself when you are in the house of God? Are you fully looted? We know this tree called Muringam. That tree knows how to penetrate and put its loot to the deep. We as Christians, do we come only to church on Sunday and we are done? Do you read the word of God only on Sunday? Do you play only on Sunday? When you are building your life, when you are building your spiritual man, for him to, have be, to, to be strong, you have to read the word of God. You have to, uh, to, to pray. You have to fast for you to have a good foundation in your life. Buona sana. Bible says, when we build our families, when we build everything that you have in Christ, he is going to command his blessings in our lives. And when we come and be united together as the church and as the family, 
as the business people, as the colleagues in the workplace. When we unite together, the Bible says that God is going to command his blessings in our lives. And when God commands his blessings, what are we supposed to do? When you are blessed, what are you supposed to do? We are supposed to give God thanks. And many are times when God gives us opportunities, when God answers our prayers, many are the times that when we, we forget, we forget the cry, we forget the, the prayers. We forget how we have been pleading with God to remember us when we are blessed. And now God, because he has assured us that if we remain connected, if we remain being looted in him, he is going to settle us. He is going to settle our families. He is going to settle our businesses. He is going to settle our work in our, we are going to be settled in our king places. He is going to bless us. He is going to release his blessings in our lives. And when God releases his blessings, his blessings unto us, let us remember to give God thanks. And there is power in thanksgiving. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, and we always sing this every time we are starting our service, that I will enter his gates with thanksgiving. Number one, thanksgiving is a key. When you give thanks, you are accessing the kingdom of God. And when you access the kingdom of God, that is where our treasures are. That is where our blessings are. So when you give God things, you are being given the key to access the kingdom of God. And everything that you need, it is in the kingdom of God. When you give thanks, then giving is like oil. You remember in our villages, before we came to, to buy the pumps of uh, pumping the water, we used to furutamaj with that pool. Munaikubuka. For that pool to go down easily to fetch the water, we had to put the oil so that that thing can move smoothly to the, to the borehole. When we pray, it is like adding the oil in our prayers. And when you give thanks, and God sees that you have really given thanks. He adds that oil. And our prayers will flow smoothly. Without any obstacles on the way. The heaven will open automatically. Because you have given thanks. Then giving is a principle of the kingdom. Let us be using these chants that we are given in this church every second Sunday of the month to give thanks. And we are going to witness the faithfulness of God in our lives. Number three, thanksgiving multiplies. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 9, then when Jesus was with his disciples and a large cloud was following him. And he, had, he was with that cloud for, from morning till the afternoon. And after looking the cloud, he noticed they were hungry. And he asked his, his uh, disciples, where are we going to get the bread to feed these people? The Bible says there were 5,000 men. They were men without women and children. 5,000 men. The Bible says that the disciples told him that we have a boy here with two fish and five loaves of bread. 
And when Jesus was given those five loaves and two fish, the Bible says he gave thanks. He raised them to God and praised and gave thanks. And they were multiplied. The Bible says that they were fed 5,000 men. They ate and they became full and they were satisfied. And after eating and being satisfied, Jesus told the disciples, correct the leftovers. They took 12 baskets full of leftovers because our God is a multiplier. When you give thanks, God is going to multiply. And what makes me strong is that our God knows us. He knows our capacity. He knows what you can give. He knows what you cannot give. Whatever that you have, give it to God. Give it as a dance giving and he is going to multiply. Bonas Fesana. When we come here in the church, we are given the theory. We go out and do the practical. Go and do the practical. Go and give. And you are going to see God, a miracle working God, multiplying your blessings, raising from you to, from zero to somewhere, opening doors that you cannot imagine. Taking you to places that you have never ever thought of. Buenas Fesana, our God is our wonder. And he always looks at our hearts. And he always opens doors to those who are feeling. Buenas Fesana. Last time I preached on 24th December, I, I told you about the power of the word of God. Use the word of God is it? When God says that he has a plan, tell him may this plan may you complete this plan may you do it and do you know what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 55 that every word that comes from my mouth it will never come back to me without completing its purpose Charge God with his word and he is going to do it. Brethren, this morning, let us be looted. Let us be looted in Christ. Let us be united. Let us live in harmony. Let us live in peace. Let us live together. Let us uplift each and every one of us. Let us be destiny connect us. We always pray for God to give us the destiny connect us. Even you, you can be a destiny connector. Help that person. Help that little girl. Help that boy. Help that poor in your village. Be united. And God is going to command his blessings in our lives. And when we are blessed, remember to give thanks. Never, remember, never forget where our God has taken us from. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, I think in 25, that look back and see from the quarry that I picked you from. Never forget where God has taken you from. Buenas Fesana. It is my prayer this morning that all of us will be clouded, clouded and beluted in Christ Jesus. And let us let the Holy Spirit and Christ to dwell in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Let us stand. I want to give a chance to someone who is there. 
who is feeling that without Christ in his life, he cannot be able to be clouded because the Bible says that without Christ, when you do not have Christ in you, when Christ is not dwelling in you, you are dead. We can see you physical, you are healthy, but your inner man is dead. Are you there this morning? And you feel that you want to connect with this God. When he is releasing his blessings to his people, you will be a partaker of that blessing. Do we have someone in the house who wants to say that today I want to be clouded in Christ? Is there someone? Sawa, sawa. God bless you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you this morning for your word. We want to thank you. We want to honor you because your word is true. And every time that you release your word to your people, it is like I said. We pray, my Father and my God, that that word has fallen to the good, good, the good cloud. It is, and it is going to yield that is 60 and 100 fold in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that these people, you are going to bless them as they go out. As they start in a new week next week, may you go with them. May you def defeat every power that can come against the allies. May they be clouded unto you. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I do pray, believe, and trust. Amen. May God bless you.